Oh, hey, fellas, how you doing? Frankie Day back again on YouTube. Today on YouTube, I have a build of my past, another Lockheed Hudson, fellas. I promise you, I'll I'll, uh, I'll present no more Lockheed Hudsons. I went down there below in the uh, in the Boston locker, which is my finished base. But down below, where I have most all my kits, uh, a completed kit stashed up and displayed down below. I went. I knew I bet I made a bigger one just like this. So I went down below and I found it in the box. I pulled it out of the box, and I uh, still had the string around it where it was hung up one time. And matter of fact, I had it hung up in my kitchen one time. I believe it was about. A long time ago. I built this, boys. I built this about, uh, about 40, 45 years ago. It's made entirely out of paper. No wood, no plastic, no metal. Nothing but paper. And I built this exactly like I've done on my Lockheed Electra L14. Uh, I got the plans off Paul, Matt, Paul, Paul Matt's, uh, value number four. Uh, scale model aircraft drawings, and I blew up the forming, the formers, and the wing spars, and the wing ribs to the scale. The scale of this airplane is uh, 132nd scale, and uh, has a wingspan of 30 inches, and uh, it's displayed in the Lockheed Hudson military version of a, a civilian. Uh, cousin, as I zoom in, you can look at the detail done on it. This thing has all all been uh, airbrushed. First of all, I built this airplane. I, I used the formers and I covered the formers and make and with the skins to make the fuselage itself and the wings too, along with the spars and the wing ribs. And I covered the airplane with 50/50 Aerogloss dope, half nitrate and half butrate dope. I impregnated the cardstock with all that dope, so actually I gave it more or less like a vacuum form type of effect. And I went, I masked it very gently. I went and airbrushed the uh, the dark green and the gray. The gray kind of faded, folks, on us because of, because of its age. And again, that dope right there was starting to pull puckers into it. Never was like that before. There's a Bolton Paul turret right there. All those windows were masked off using masking tape. My airbrush using blue with. with Kind of silver in there for shadow for shadowing. The Astrodome is uh right there is made made paper too. I made cones out of it. So to make round objects, folks, you got you gotta make it like a pebbles <coughs> in a circular motion, and you gotta form it to make it look like that. So it's all out of paper, guys. And I showed you what you can do with paper. It's a poor man's hobby. You can't afford plastic. Build paper. I've been a card modeler for years, so I. Uh, I always had a great adventure is building card models. The tires right there are made out of cardboard disc, trucked up to the middle to a mini wave, mini uh, lathe, and uh, turned. Was it back up the cab a little bit? Get a good spin, and uh, we'll go to the uh, nose section. The canopy has all been uh, masked and airbrushed down. As I said, from the uh, 148 scale classic airframes. Lockheed Hudson on my last build of the past I done, folks. The Hudson Bomber was the very first Lindley's uh, Lend aircraft uh, sent to the U.S. to the to Britain during the war to fight their war effort against uh, Adolf Hitler and the rest of the uh, bully boys. And uh, the Boston Bomber was was to follow. Also, the the, the Martin uh, Maryland Bomber too was there. So this here is a Coastal Command aircraft it's from the night. Not uh, night to tire, and uh, as you can see how the fuses are put together, you use the formers, and make, you got to make the skin so uh, to shape the the contour of, of the formers. Like I say, all those windows were made using masking tape. I cut out each one of those windows right there, replaced it over the model, and spray it with blue with him and silver for shadowing. The bolt and pull turret was made from pebbles. A pebble is to take a circle disc, folks. folks. And you cut small miniature pies out, which it looks like a sunshine. It looks like a sun. Then you take that and you form the paper to make the make the rounds parts. So actually, uh, initially, uh, card models were made from cones, uh, shapes by using cones and uh, half circles and and uh, irregular irregular uh, cuttings of your uh, scans of your your paper patterns. This is a big Lockheed Hudson, fellas. Uh, it's the same scale as my, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, of my Lockheed uh, Electric 
L-14, Polish Airlines. This is the military brother, the Hudson Bomber, with all her glory. A beautiful airplane. I've always liked the Hudson. There's something about the Hudson that, 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 that all those chunky lines it had on it, and uh, I can see what, what, what good it was back in the war. It actually was good for everything. Utility aircraft, Coastal Command aircraft, U-boat patrols that uh, could be used as a personal uh, shuttle plane, as such as Horn Gorman used on his... Uh, there he is again. Okay, buddy. We approve, buddy. We approve. <laughs> that guy's something else. <coughs> we zoom in one more time, fellas. We'll make another walk around. And I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. I'm going to close this video off here. So i got time here to close this video off before I get turn myself off short. So this one is the last of the Lockheed Hudson, fellas. A lot more of you with Hudson board a little more. So I figured I'd do this and you guys get a laugh out of it. Good peek. I'll have bills my past daily. To keep you fellas on your toes. Keep you interested. So I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And thank you for your comments. Great bunch of fellas out there. And the next update build will be on my bolo. Uh, I have the finishing uh, pictures of tonight. If uh, everything goes good. So that will be my next video. And tomorrow I'll post another Bills of the Past. Bye boys. Take care fellas. May God bless. Bye now.